Gaslit is airing Sundays at 8 Eastern on Stars. Available early on the Stars app, streaming and on demand platforms at midnight. It is based on the Slow Burn podcast on the Watergate scandal from way back in the day. And the man who plays G. Gordon Liddy is here on the Rich Eisen Show. Big fan of Shea Wiggum here on the program. Good to see you again, brother. Hey, thanks for having me. So, G. Gordon Liddy is um, quite the character. As I just remember him, um, you know, at, growing up yeah. and seeing him on TV before he passed away. And so you play him in this in this show about the Watergate scandal. Yeah, you know, we we uh, we deal with uh, seventy two. Mm-hmm. So you know, when I, when they when they approached me to to play Lydia, it's it scared really scared me uh-uh. because he's so iconic and so much. People really started to uh, you know figure find out more about him post post politics with with uh, Miami Vice and and what he did with Timothy Leary and and. Uh, so I was nervous to take him on, but yeah, so we, we dove right in. Yeah, for sure. So in terms of characters that you've played, and you've played a lot of crazy people, uh, <laughs> Shay, just coming through the front door here uh, in your career, it doesn't take too much of a scroll down your IMDb page to yeah, see yeah, 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 that, yeah. Uh, you know, you've played some people who've, who've been out there. Um, yeah. And again, Boardwalk Empire is one of them. Uh, where, where does this one rank for you? Uh, I think it's, yeah, this is... This would definitely be on the Mount Rushmore of those, and I think he would probably be he'd, he'd be at the top. I mean, it, not to go too deep into it, and you know, uh, I don't sound presumptuous when I talk about the acting part of it. Yeah. But this one took a lot to put together because, again, so much was known, and he he was he was uh, uh, the ultimate, you know. Um, company man no matter what it took to get the job done he would do you know and so and he had he was just he was just you know it it, it was tricky because of how uh how big of a personality he is and how deep he would go and i wanted to make sure that i gave him a fair shot when we you know i said to matt ross the director i want to make sure that we give him a, a real fair shot don't bring any baggage so we started it at neutral with him and just you know, built 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 Liddy from there. I mean, hell of a cast too. I mean, when you're talking about the Mitchells, yeah. Martha and John being, yeah. you know, Julia Roberts and Sean Penn. I mean, yeah. you're that's a hell of a pool in which oh, you're man. swimming. I mean, in, you Julie, know? Julie's been she's been great to me. She's she's unbelievable. In this as well as Sean. I've I've acted with both of them before, mm-hmm. and I never. I mean, with her, I I never. You never get quite used to being with Julia. She's. What do you mean? She just she's that big of a star for me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm from Mystic River. I mean, excuse me, Mystic Pizza, yeah. you know, Satisfaction all the way through. I, in, in, and then Pretty Woman. And then Penn, you know, I, I like to say I had Penn's poster on my wall as a, as a, as a young kid, you know what, what I mean? What, it's Spicoli? Yeah, yeah, it's Spicoli, you know, and everybody, I, you know, everybody I knew, all the guys I knew wanted to order pizza at, you know, during during on, class on our time on our time you know and you know <laughs> smoke a joint and right outside in the van prior to first period you know so he it's it was heavy and we went 10 deep in this they put a cast together that's unbelievable and you feel the production design and the in the in the dp just knocked it out of the park you feel it 72. Do you talk to Sean Penn about Spicoli? I mean, is he open about that sort of stuff? I, we haven't interviewed him, and I'd love to have him on yeah. the show. And I would be, based on, I mean, right now, you know, I know he's over in Ukraine. Like, he's got, like, he's he's now uh, on world events. And so for me to sit here and talk to Mr. Hand, you know, right. and back in the day, <laughs> right. you know, like, right. that's the sound of his skull. Right. I just don't know, like... Did you do you bring that stuff up yeah, to him? Yeah, we he and I. Or, yeah, we have a good thing, Sean and I. Um, we we you know I I look man. I it's like him. It's De Niro for me. Hopkins. Some of these I've been able to knock down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not lost on me. So when I get Sean in there, it's um, and 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 matter of fact, when we finished Gaslit, mm-hmm. he was like, "I'm going over. I'm going over the Ukraine." Right. You know, and I you know I knew. Sp- sort of what was happening i didn't know that that you know all for all intents and purposes everyone said they the russia wasn't going to come in at the time well he was there pre-war he, he was there pre-war he was doing like he was work there. right documentary he's like film documenting he was doing a doc right, right. Zelensky. right and he said i'm going to go over there i'm going to i'm going to hook up with Zelensky. and i'm going to tell this story of what's going on over right there. 
So we would talk a lot about that. And then he's there and he's about 80% done with the dock mm. and they invade. So basically it's going to go one of two ways with the rest of the documentary. We're done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's heavy. So you know what I mean? So, so it's tough to bring up Richmond high at that point. In time, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough turn. Is that what you mean, Shay? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Damone, tell me more about it. Like you can't do that. I, I hear you. Shay Wiggum here uh, on the Rich Eisen show. And and now you're also working with Tom Cruise, right? When the MI uh, seven and eight, you're doing sevens in the can and eights coming. Is that yeah, what's going? Yeah, we uh, we did we did we did Mission Seven. Uh, mm -hmm. We 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 basically started right when the pandemic hit in mm -hmm. Italy. We were we were there. We mm -hmm. were about to start in within the next day or two. Mm -hmm. And if you remember it, it it hit on into Italy that this is going back to and oh yeah, that's years. when it was really hit. Yes. So we all we had to leave. Mm -hmm. We had to pack up and split, and um, and then Tom put it on, put put the mission on his back, and we were kind of the canary in the coal mine, and started like four months after, and had to figure out how do you do this during a pandemic, and so we did that, and we I chased Tom, I was talking to you a little bit before I mm -hmm. chased Tom, you know, all over Europe, Venice and Italy, and, what, like, I mean Venice and 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 and, and, and uh, Rome, and on foot, like yeah. literally chased him. I, it, He's, I mean, first of all, he's he's un, he's unbelievable at, at 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 what he does. Like I, so I, they threw me right into the. You're gonna chase Tom. We're in Venice. We're you know they got this spectacular backdrop, and I'm hustling Tom for about seven hours. From we're doing a night shoot, mm -hmm. and right at the end of the lat, right at like five forty-five in the morning. I mean, I've been chasing his ass all night long, trying to, and you can't catch him. I mean, he's so. <laughs> I go and I have one more in me, and McHugh McQuarrie says, "Listen, I need you to really go. I need you." He was trying to goose me to get you. I'm gonna get and I'm hustling, and I pull this calf right here, and. Oh my God! I pull that son of a bitch right there, and I go. I pull up, and he's gone, and I'm the only one who kind of knows what. And he says, "So, Corey's like, you got one, you got one more. I don't know if we got it. It may have the lens, maybe you know." So, so I chase him, and you'll probably see that. And then I'm hobbling after you know Cruz, but you know. So I that's, should but get uh, that's what happens with my 40 yard dash is they look at me and they're like, "You got one more in you," and I'm like, "All right." And then I one year I damn near ripped. Uh, you know, muscle yeah. off the bone. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's serious bit. And if you're running, chasing down Tom Cruise, like, well, how how fast do you think he is? Like, literally, oh, he's like, what's quick. His, he's quick. Is he man. running like? Because he's 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 in his upper fifties now. Are you saying like he's he's running like a four seven, a four eight forty, or something I, crazy I like that? I would not. I would not doubt it. I mean, the guy, the guy can run. He can flat out. When you see this, the trailer is going to play, I believe, in front of Top Gun, and you'll see oh. this shot. It's immaculate. He is, he's, he, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of it. I think, but he's unbelievable when you see him. Right? Can you do me a favor? Sure. It's okay. What do you, Cause, what do you cause, cause MI eight's coming up, right? Yeah, yeah you're we're going to start MI eight. And you're yeah. going to, you know, and you yeah, look yeah. like you're in shape. Like you're not going to pull anything at this point in time. You got stamina. You got, you got staying power, <laughs> Shea Wiggum. I'd like to, like, if you're chasing him. Yeah, yeah. Have somebody, have somebody in the crew. Yeah, yeah. Measure out where the forty-yard mark is from where he's starting. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. And have and put a clock on him. Right. I don't know if we tell him. Do we tell him this? Do no, we, I can't, I tell, mean, him. Or, can't or, tell him. Or do we need to go through the front door? He's Tom Cruise. Like he probably doesn't. He he probably needs to know. You know right. I'm gonna or, figure. I'm gonna figure this out. You gotta, I, I mean, because I told you how what I how much uh, I admire what you do for St. Jude. So I'm gonna. Thank I'm you. gonna. I'm gonna figure this out. Let's do this. So, I'm like, figure it out. It. Figure out like where he's gonna start. We know where his starting <laughs> mark is clearly, and then figure out. Put a forty-yard mark down. All right. All and right. then somebody, somebody yeah. got to time him. I'm gonna do it. And then we'll find out what it is. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna show you this tape. And then and we'll raise, we'll raise maybe money we'll off raise of it. A ton of money. Yeah, exactly. He's he's so great about that. I bet you. I bet you he'll. Let's take it. the challenge. And do Let's it. do it. I'll do it. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Rock it in. Lock it in. Wow. Shea Wiggum here on the Rich Eyes. I thought you were going to get at Rich. You you time him and not let him know. Like Bowfinger when Eddie Murphy was filming the movie, but he didn't know he was in the movie. Like just make Tom run the forty without okay. letting him know. That's it. I think that's, that's what we should do. Actually. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, Gaslit again airing Sundays at eight Eastern on Stars um, and it's streaming on demand platforms at midnight as well. 
uh, the man who plays G. Gordon Liddy, Shea Wiggum, here on The Rich Eisen Show. Your filmography and the TV shows you've been in, fantastic. We're going to do our best here to try and boil it down to celebrity, true or false, if you don't right. mind. All right, yeah, here, yeah. let's right. play celebrity, true or false with Shea Wiggum, please. Okay. Celebrity, true or false. You can't handle the truth. That's our production value right there. That's, our production. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> You've been in $18 million pilots on uh, Boardwalk Empire. That's our production budget right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shea Wiggum, uh, true or false, you originally went to college on a tennis scholarship before you caught the acting bug. Is that true? This is this is true. I uh, It was a junior college in Texas. Okay. Uh, and I could... I could kind of find my way around the court, you know, a little bit. But like, what? Give me your tennis game. What do you got? I was, you know, I was serving volley. Are you serving no, volley? No, no, I was, I was pretty quick around the court and could, you know. Uh, but I, it was very apparent very quickly that I, I, it was, I, I didn't need to be on scholarship. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I don't know. Did that come out? I mean, I, 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 I was no. Which no. junior college was this? Uh, Tyler Junior College. So, ta- so the Texas. tennis coach of Tyler Texas Junior College is like rethinking the giving Shea Wiggum a well. You a know what happened? Scholarship? The first guy, I think, I fooled my way onto the team with the first guy, and then the second guy, they had a changeover. My first, my <laughs> first out. year, he, he came out. on and he goes, "Son, I think you." You know, I said, you know, I think I'm going to be an actor. He goes, I think you should do that. <laughs> so, so I ended up, I, that's that's kind of, now that I'm talking about it, that's really how I found my way into into acting. I love that. So yeah. then here's the second fact here is yeah. that your dad yeah. played quarterback at Florida State. And then when you told him you wanted to act, he only budged when your mom reminded him that that was the route Burt Reynolds took, sports through becoming a movie star and you were going to do the same thing that's that's partly true he did my father played quarterback at florida state okay um and what's interesting he had his coaches were bill parcells dan henning and joe gibbs all on the same staff. Damn! Wow. Yeah. Some. This is on Bobby Bowden's staff. No, no, no. This is prior, pre Bobby um, Bowden. Okay. Yeah. This is a guy named Bill Peterson. I okay. Believe. All right. So, yeah, and uh, he, yeah, so he played quarterback there, and I, and I just, I, man, I, it, I, I loved cinema. I loved films, and he and my mom, they would put me in front of them, and I just said, I want to try to figure out. I don't know how you do it. Right. I want to get. That, so. And so your mom's like, "Hey, Burt Reynolds yeah, was Bert a quarterback at Florida yeah, State. Bert Look did. at him now." And yeah. your, your dad's like, "Okay." Yeah, I mean, he wasn't. He was kind of okay, <laughs> kind of okay. I mean, he knew that. Again, you know, a, a, an actor at the time, they might as well been been from Mars. You know, nobody knew how you uh-huh. become an actor. And so, you know, when I went off to do it, he was he was trepidatious, I would say. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next one. You're best friends with Michael Shannon, and you often look for projects to do together. And you've been in seven so far. Yeah, I it? love. I love Michael. We just finished our eighth. We finished Waco. The the next installment of Waco. Um, he's he's maybe. I mean, the best. At, in my age bracket, it's him and Joaquin and and Christian. Some of these guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's right there. Bale, well, Bale and. Phoenix. Boardwalk Empire was one of those projects as well. Yeah. And uh, what what is it like to be mm-hmm. directed by Scorsese, who did the pilot of that, and you've obviously been in other films of his. So. Well, I, I, it's it, it. Here's an interesting story. If you have a second, I do have a second. Here's a second. So I'm doing my first with about about Scorsese. I'm doing my first um, uh, film, Tigerland. We're yes. down in Jackson. We're in Stark, Florida. Colin Farrell yeah. is is on a rocket ship at the time. And they're sending back his dailies back here to, to California from Florida. Mm-hmm. And people are watching his dailies. And they're, he was about to you know take off. And Scorsese somehow sees tape on me mm-hmm. from dailies. So I get a call from, I get a call, no cell phones at the time. I get a call on a days in blinking red light. <laughs> and it's Scorsese's people say he wants to bring you to New York. Now, mind you, I'm only on my first film, and I'm going, Martin Scorsese. They go, yeah, he's going to bring He's coming to television for the first time, and he wants you to be the cop. He's going to audition you. I get flown from, I get to New York. I get in there with Marty, and Marty's like, okay, kid, you mind if I read with you? And I was like, oh, Mr. Scorsese. I mean, my heart is out of here. <laughs> and I said, so, so Scorsese, Mr. Scorsese is reading with me. 
we do this, we do two hours of reading. Uh-huh. And he goes, kid, you're my guy. And I, I'm emotional. We, we have a party that night. We drink. We have a dinner celebration. I get back down. I call all the boys, call everybody. I got it. I'm Marty's guy. I'm, I'm, I'm the guy. <laughs> yeah. I get down there, and the little red blinking light is on. Mm-mm. And it's a message from Scorsese. And he says, uh, I don't know why the network won't let me hire you. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I don't understand this television stuff. They won't let me hire you. I'm crestfallen. Yeah. I'm, this is, I'm, I'm on the bottom of, I'm lying on the bottom of the pool at this moment. Right. And I call my father and I say, I don't know. He goes, let him off the hook. Let him off the hook. So I, I, I dial Scorsese and I say, hey, uh, Mr. Scorsese. No, no, call me more. Hey, he goes, sorry, sorry. I said, no, no, don't worry about it. It's okay. I, the, the fact that I got a chance to be with you and to read, and to, we had a drink. and we, He goes, thanks for letting me off the hook. Ten years later, a decade later, I'm reading for a boat captain on boardwalk. I come in, one scene, mm-hmm. Ellen, Ellen Lewis, mm-hmm. casting director, who's been with Marty forever, goes, what are you doing reading for a boat captain? I just, I don't know. She goes, nah, nah, nah. You should read for the brother. You should read for, you know, Nucky's brother. Uh-huh. Yes. Go outside, take these sides, go outside, come back in. I go outside, I come back in, I put the audition down. She shows it to Marty. And Marty's like, she goes, you remember who this is? And he goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, this is the kid who let you off the hook 10 years ago. And Marty goes, that's my kid. And that's how you got Boardwalk Empire. And HBO goes, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Yeah. Then she goes, You're gonna, we're gonna, we want you to see every, you know, Ryan and Chris and everybody. <laughs> and Marty doesn't see anybody. And he says, I, 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 we get on set for the very first day. And he goes, I never forgot that. I never forgot how you handled that. It just shows you, like, you never know how that's going to come back, you know? Advice from dad, too. Yeah, dad that's and it. mom, you know, they were like, that's great. you know, let him, you know what I mean? I, I, cause I, I wanted to go, the part of me was just devastated. I was completely devastated, you know, because of what could have been. And then, then you get that, and then you do, you know, now it's amazing between he and I. And know? the irony that you did wind up playing a boat captain for Scorsese as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's exactly when it's all right. said and done, That's amazing. in the, wolf, <laughs> That's in the amazing. wolf of Wall Street. I didn't even say That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, it's my job to connect dots. <laughs> I'm a dot connector. You're a, you're a top-notch actor. I'm a top-notch oh, dot connector. And that's my last piece of celebrity, true or false. Oh. True or false, the majority of Wolf of Wall Street was improvised. Uh, there was a lot of it improvised with, uh, yeah. When I, get on, when I got on there with... with uh, DiCaprio and I on that boat. Yes, a lot of it is because they had built us this um, unbelievable hydro, half of a hydraulic boat yeah. so that we were moving and the thing moved. And so I remember when I got there and I hadn't met DiCaprio until then, you know, and he's the biggest star in the world at the time. And so Marty's like, hey, Leo, we get in and we start. And, and Marty's always, he, we, we see where it lays we know our stuff. And then he's like, let's futz, maybe let's futz it up a little bit. Let's see, you know. So some of the stuff from Captain Ted, from Boat Captain Ted starts yeah. to come out. And, you know, so, and, and DiCaprio and Hill are champion improvisers. So you, you improvise a line about, like, we, we might have to, what, break, break some china or something like that? Like a little, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That? yeah, yeah, that yeah. Might, that might, that, that yeah. might break down. You know, we might have to, bat, yeah. then we might have to. Yeah, what, yeah. Well, I forget what it was. Was that to lock down some China? Is that what that was? <laughs> I think so. Some... Well, they were looking for the lewds. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Because he's not. He, yeah, he's not he dying. didn't want to die sober. He didn't, <laughs> didn't want to die sober. <laughs> Which is one of the great all time scenes uh, between him and Hill when they're on the lewds. I mean, it's Jerry Lewis esque, I think. You know, when they come out of the. Yeah. Down the steps, you know, out of the, uh, the country club. Amazing. Oh, my God. Just amazing. Yeah. Dude, you're the best, man. I appreciate the time when you come on this show. The man who plays G. Gordon Liddy in Gaslit on Stars, 8 p.m. Eastern every Sunday, and then uh, streaming on-demand platforms after midnight, available early on the Stars app. Perry Mason Season 2 coming up, right? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're uh, halfway through right now filming. 
Fantastic. It'll be great. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be great. Well, you're great in everything. Mission Impossible 7 to be released July 2023, and then June of 2024 is when MI8 is coming out, and we're going to see him run 40 yards in what, 4.8? Four, eight, four, four, four eight, is Tom Cruise 4.8? He's definitely breaking five. No five doubt Five seconds? It. Tom no Cruise? No doubt about it. Top speed? Yeah, yep. I, I, I mean, I, we got to get him. He's fast. I mean, he's the he's best fast. movie runner of all time. He's fast. He's 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 unbelievable. I'd agree. I mean, what? Give me a better movie runner than Tom. You know, Cruise. Daniel Craig kind of made a case in the in the Bond movies, okay. but uh, you know, it's Cruz's it's Cruz's and, wearing the belt, and, right and now. it's Cruz and Harrison Ford in the most beat up, correct? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Actor, would you say that? Uh, actor who gets the crap oh, beaten yeah, out yeah, of them yeah, in yeah. movies? Yeah, he's. He's the biggest movie star. He's he's yeah. He's amazing. It's it's like I said Something. again. You only say you 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 never forget. Like like you know, Cruz. Sometimes I'm like I'm acting with Tom Cruise. Right <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to get him. You know, so yeah. Man, I love that story about Scorsese. Listen, Outstanding. Thank you for having me. Anytime, Shay Wagon. Really appreciate it. Anytime, everybody. Check out Gaslit on Stars. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.